I'm all about the selfies. I'm okay. trying to get my own show, just being the selfie queen. You're Hold not trying thing. to do anything, honey. I'm You're, doing it. It's all in progress. Can we see the Chanel? Open the open the Chanel darling. Yes. Chanel. We're Vin, not vintage Chanel darling. Come yeah, we can, we can't boycott Chanel. No, <laughs> we're not yes. doing that. Oh, I was funny. gonna go in on my whole. No Gucci, but right now I don't have want to waste that time. <laughs> uh, when you have a legend in the building, let's get right to it, Joe. Exclusive, tell me who you bought. What it do? What it do? New York, motherfucking city. I'm here. I love it. You know, I always tell the world. I say New York is my mistress because I live in LA, and LA is my wife. So I'm always excited to be in New York and, and turning up in these Fashion Week streets, baby. When you come, you do give them a Monte, honey. You turn, you serve, you just twirl, you do it all. Um, I know you're on your way to a fashion show, so yes, thank we're you. we're running around town, and I brought my fabulous, the new first couple of fashion, the power couple. Definitely, I can see it. They came walking in first. Introduce yes. them. Introduce them. First, we have... If you're on Instagram, you can follow her, Nini, to beat. Ooh, and yes, she is that. And we need a bomb or something okay. or something because she is definitely doing her thing. And now, that's Nini to beat. To ooh. beat. To beat. And she is a new online boutique owner. Her new online boutique is called She's Beat Boutique. And we have our lovely and fabulous husband that compliments her fly. Ooh. Mr. Money Montrell. Yeah. Money. Look like money. Well, I am excited because no other to have a lovely couple for the Valentine's Day edition. Ooh. This is inspiring. You Love. Have a, do you have a cousin? Okay. Uh, uh, uncle? Somebody? Please. If he's somebody. a prince, I'll marry him. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Let's go right into it. Where are you guys based out of? We're based out of Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Ooh. I'm not Dallas Cowboy haters. I know you're not. Oh, you are a <laughs> Dallas Cowboy fan, I'm assuming, That's right? Cool. I'm a Giants fan. But I've been taking the knee, so I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I haven't been watching any football. Smart, smart woman. I'm trying. Um, so tell me about this boutique. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about it. Um, it's She's Beat Boutique. Mm -hmm. Right now we have a fabulous Valentine's Day collection. So I need all my ladies that love to be beat at all times to go to She's Beat Boutique on Instagram and take advantage of the Valentine's Day collection. So I'm real excited about it. Um, we've been getting a really great response with the ladies and the men. So, um, she's Be Boutique. Mm. Yes. What was the inspiration behind it? Why a boutique? Was Dallas missing this? I, I mean, Dallas has boutiques, but mm. I want to bring a different flavor. You know, I want to be able to cater to all size women with mm. birds and, and have them into something that they're going to feel fabulous in, but also, you know, that's that's form fitting for their body. Because she got curves. Yes. <laughs> Plenty of curves. But can we just talk about how your husband, if my husband's not smiling like that, I don't want one because that is my monte, bigger than a moment. Aww. Tell me, do you guys sell uh, men and women's clothes in the boutique? Right now it's just women, so we decided to put a lot of energy into getting she's be to where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Our main focus is to be able to provide... Uh, you know, beautiful clothing that everyone would be able to purchase. So we want to get She's Be up going and running and successful, and then the man's line will be following after. If you could have anybody come into the store or if you could work with them, who would it be? Uh, you know I'm going to have to say Beyonce. Yes! Beyonce! <laughs> Beehive! Okay. Beehive! <laughs> well, you are giving me Beyonce vibes right now. I'm loving how you switch Texas. up your style. When I first saw you on my Explore page, you had red hair. Yes. Who did that whole Mamante? Oh, my gosh. That was Troy Styles. Ooh. Yes. Troy Styles. Woo. We love Troy Styles here at the Who Style and Who Show. Um, I think I have an who's appointment. To, who? I have an appointment who's tomorrow. Styling who? Who's oh. styling who? Who's who? Styling who? who? Hey. <laughs> so that was tonight's Mamante. We wanted to shout out because you know that's what the Who's Styling Who is. Who gets us together? Who you know? Who do we love? So that was dope that you shouted out 
um, Troy as the stylist, hair stylist. Absolutely. Now, who's doing your fashion? Is this all from you, your boutique? To be quite honest with you, today I'm wearing Michael Kors. Ooh, okay. I'm like that Michael Kors today, y'all. <laughs> No, Michael okay. Kors is with Versace now. Oh, we love him. I don't know. He, he's doing the, you know, the corporate corporate behind Versace. Donatella has said, you know what? I'll split some of these responsibilities in this business. Finally. And, you know, giving him some responsibility and letting them be the conglomerate over it. Mm. That's what I'm really into. I'm, that's my big addiction to fashion brands. Yeah. We go out and spend all this money on Gucci and Louis and Fendi, and I'm so guilty of it too. But we do not invest back in our own black brands. And that's, and that's why we're having a problem today with, you know, the Gucci and all that and want to boycott them. But the reality, if we have the power, we have the power because we are the ones that actually buy mm-hmm. all the luxury goods. Yeah. So it's, it's best that now we, you know, focus in that, in that, you know, support our own and really get into our own. Well, how we met, we do support our own. How I met Joe exclusive. We definitely, like we were we, very we definitely, supportive of our own. <laughs> we uh, broke a brand. Uh, he was the L.A. And I was the East Coast, the right. West and East cake mix. So shout out to cake, cake, mix, cake, cake mix. mix. We did a mamante. Uh, <laughs> that brand it was so crazy. It's yeah, one of everything. the young ladies that was the model is actually she's with Sugar. You know, Sugar Shane is it? The oh, one? Bella. Bella. Yeah. Shout out to Bella. So with Joe Exclusive, you will you will meet all the fabulous people. Yes. Get styled by all the fabulous people. Nice. Um, he will turn you into a mamante, honey. Because nice. I've seen. A lot of people start out with him and are rich and famous. <laughs> Tell people real quick some of the people you got your hands on in this fashion industry. Um, Just well, to name I mean, a few. I started, like, literally, Eve was the first person I started with. I met her when she was with Dr. Dre. Mm-hmm. I, the world, a lot of people don't even know she was signed to Dr. Dre before Rough Riders. Yes, after And that. I took her, because I met her there. I was taking another artist there to get signed, and um, Eve was there signed to Dr. Dre, and took her we became friends and ended up meeting dmx out and he introduced us to rough riders and she got signed and so that was the beginning of that and um i've, I've got people like keisha cole her record deal and you know i've worked with a lot of people so Gamora, um, you name it i've worked with <laughs> i know so i'm super excited so thank you joe for that quick uh fashion history so we salute you for black history Woo! Mom. joe exclusive ladies and gentlemen you got to know your fashion just don't follow these people. Know exactly what they've done. You know, sometimes our Instagram numbers don't match how how dope we really are in real right. life. And so how hard we work. Exactly. Yes. But let's get back to the power couple. Being that it's Valentine's Day and you guys uh, work together, how is it working with your husband 24 hours? Or do you guys have, like, separate schedules even though you run the boutique? Is I mean, it's the best thing ever. I love working with my husband. We work together literally every day. Mm-hmm. So we set out, we set up a calendar, and we determine what meetings we need to tackle, what else we need to accomplish for the day. Not only do I own a boutique, I've been a registered nurse for 10 years. Oh, wow. So I have a coding and billing company. We started, what, four years ago? Oh, okay. Successful coding and billing company, so. See, it's more toward the fashion, oh, baby. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, Business. Absolutely, definitely uh, business minded, but it's always so good because my weaknesses are his strength. Mm. And his strengths are my weaknesses. Mm. We balance each other off well, you know. And if it's, it's certain things that he's really good in, we'll, we'll tag team to make sure we close the deal. And matter of fact, we just closed one of our okay. major multi million dollars. Multi million dollars. Congratulations. Thank you. And we heard it first on the Who Stalin Who Show. Now, is this your, your guy's first radio interview? I'm a virgin. Now you know here on the Who Stalin Who Show what I always say you never forget your first. So I'm sorry, husband. Okay. You gotta share her <laughs> just this one time, okay? okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mondays are the new Fridays, 8 to 10 on DTF Radio. I want you to give them your social media one time. We have new followers that have just joined in. If you're just tuning in right now, we have... Me Need To Be, and we also have She's Beat 
Boutique on Instagram. So nice. If y'all follow me. We definitely have some fire with the boutique, and we have a Valentine's Day collection. Ladies oh yeah, they got Spanish. some really cute, some real cute yes, shit. Get them ladies. to it. So everything can we find on Instagram, or that's the website is this as well. There's also a website. It's she's B. She's B. Dot com. Nice. Girl, if you ladies like Angel Brinks and even the Fashion Nova, but Fashion Nova 2.0, you yes. would love She's Beat. She's Beat. She's Beat. She's Beat. She's Beat. It's and She's Beat Boutique on mm-hmm. IG. Dog. Now, I know you guys have to go, but is there anything that you want the world to know before you guys leave? Is there anything I didn't talk about? You want to give some shout outs? Well, one thing I want the world to You know, okay. we support each other more. I'm blessed. I really feel that my husband was chosen for me by God. Amen. I really, truly feel that way because not only is he my husband, he's my best friend. He's my stylist. He's my, you know, he does everything. He's my chef. He, I mean, oh, he's everything. Man, to cook. Oh. Can't <laughs> walk. <laughs> Lord Can't Jesus. Yes. So, um, and you still manage to stay so slim and trim. Yes, I do. We have a gym in our, in our house, so we make sure we work out. I mean, my husband don't do crunches. We're trying to get him to work on that. Shape. <laughs> a little sick shape. But um, we definitely work out. We try to stay as healthy as we possibly can. But back to love, I think, you know, what I really want to share with everyone is that we really need to love each other, you know, and make sure we take the time to just be patient and understand one another. So that's, that's one thing I want to leave here for. And you didn't say much. Can you let's let's hear about you? Know, What's the male per- perspective? In chess, um, the queen makes a lot of moves on the board. Ooh. And the king stays behind sometimes just to have her back so she can destroy and conquer. Ooh, my yeah. pussy just got wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that you got a beautiful queen that's articulate, you know, smart, and it's it's not hard to. Uh, very respectable. I respect her. I love her. She's my best friend. So, you know, we the only way we're going to make it is we trust. So I trust her. She trusts my judgment. We uh, come from the same type of branch. We come from the same cloth. She's beautiful. She's tough. She's smart. So I don't worry about her. If she can tussle with me, then she can tussle with any average person out there. Mm-hmm. That's mm. Valentine's. And I love my wife. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, but today is also my son's birthday. He's yeah. Oh, shout out to my son, Sterling Robinson. Sterling. Are you a Robinson? I come from a Robinson. My mother's Geraldine Robinson. So, so that's awesome. Happy birthday, son. I want us to give a shout out to Mark Shada. You out there making them beats, boy. Keep making them. We love you, bro. Shout out to Studio Link, another company that we're affiliated with. Mm-hmm. We do plugins for uh, major artists. Any artists from um, Dallas I should know about that's no, on your radio? No, we re- do have Zaytoven on there. We got Ryan Michael Cox. We oh, okay. Have, uh, uh, shout, man, shout out to Anthony Bailey. Okay. A B A B. Uh, and shout out again to my wife. Thank y'all for having us on. So I appreciate it. Shout out to Sir, Sir Joe. Joe exclusive. Cheers. Always keeping it pop. Cheers. 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 I have one more Shout question out. for you before you leave. And this is what I would like you, um, both of you to answer this question before you leave. What does love mean to you for this Valentine's Day? If you could, because there's a lot of single women out here. And even those in a relationship. How long have you guys been together? For five years. Oh, okay. So you guys came into the relationship with, you know, how, how did that work for you guys? Actually, Give us the backstory real quick. Actually, we met by, with a by mutual friend. Okay. Um, and I actually got lost. I'm really bad with directions. Mm-hmm. I can get lost with GPS. <laughs> so um, she was trying to give me directions, and she had me going in circles. GPS had me going in circles. So he took the phone and was like, okay, I'm going to give you step-by-step instructions on how to get here. So I'm doing step-by-step instructions. He's being patient. And I'm a Capricorn, so I'm a little impatient. Mm. So he was being patient. I'm like, okay. So by the time I pulled up to... Patience is a virtue. <laughs> by the time I pulled up to the location, he was like, I'm going to be the tall, handsome guy standing in the street. Ooh. So this, I this pulled up and said, I have a rock. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have destination, bitch. <laughs> That's the destination, 16, 10, baby. Yeah. <laughs> 
But at that time in my life, I wasn't really looking for a relationship. I was focusing on my career. I was running one of the largest home health agencies in Fort Worth. And so um, I just wanted to come out and have a drink with my sister, meet her brother, and you know, just have a good time. And we ended up later on getting in contact with her saying, uh, what's going on with him? You know, yes. you know what he do for us? What he, you know, just, Cautious. Yeah, background check. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> and he did the same, you know, for me. And um, we ended up exchanging numbers and talking to each other on the phone. And at that time, I was. No, I watched our car on the first day. Oh, yeah, he uh. did, y'all. The first day he met me, he washed my Mercedes truck. It was that dirty. He was like, your truck is dirty. Let's go to the car wash. Oh, right. wow. Mercedes is dirty. Right. So he took me to the car wash. He washed, uh, washed my car, had it all shiny, fresh and clean. Um, we ended up, you know, talking to our mutual friend and. We both were asking about each other at the same time. So we decided to start talking and we would just talk on the phone. And he said to me one night, he said, you know, you can, we can chill without my, you know, my, you know, your friend, you don't have to just, we can chill where it's just you and I, we can go take walks on the bridge and talk and get to know each other. And so I was like, you know what, that's cool because I, I need to be in anyway. You mm. know? At that time I was running one of the biggest agencies. So I had, I had registered nurses to deal with. So. We would walk on the bridge, he would let me vent to him, but at the same time, we were learning about each other. I was learning about things that he's been through in his past. He was learning about things that I've been through. You know, not being, Honesty. Yeah, just 100% raw, you know, just sharing everything. And um, we started to develop a friendship to where we didn't want to be away from each other, so I found myself every other night being where he was at. You know, and we would just walk the bridge and just talk, like, you know, the to first two in the morning. To two in the morning, just walking, venting, learning about each other, you know. Um, and slowly but surely, I, the, the main thing that made me fall in love with him, y'all, he's from a neighborhood in Dallas that it, it's the hood, you know, so there's a lot of unfortunate, you know. Oak Cliff, shout out to Oak Cliff. Yeah. Oak Cliff. <laughs> so it's a lot of kids that don't have the best of things and, he would um, set up a barbecue grill and make hot dogs for them. Oh. He would go and find oh. parts for bikes and put bikes together so they can have a bike to ride. And that right there showed me how selfless he is. You know, he's a teddy bear, but at the same time, he's a grizzly bear. I started a food pantry in our neighborhood also for surrounding uh, apartment complexes so they can come and get food when they need food you know, on Wednesdays. But, you know, it's always, I've done so much in my neighborhood, you know, sometimes the wrong way. I just want to make sure that I correct it and do a lot of stuff the right way. And uh, help the kids out there that didn't have, you know, some of the stuff that I had, even though I didn't have a lot. I had a little more than they did, so I just always want to give back. And we give back to all different types of charities, like right? so women's and Kyle Moses. Yeah. It's also a battered women's shelter that we, uh, that we donate to and we do charity events. Or, uh, but See, that's good. That's yeah, good. That's, you guys that's are good. Very, so it's not. Well, and I just want to thank you guys for coming and exemplifying on my Valentine's edition Woo! show what true black love is. You can definitely meet someone and it works out, and, and it looks like this. This is yeah. what it looks like. Black love, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys want to leave us with anything, please close us out. Um, I want to close it out. Okay, oh, let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Oh, I'm about to cry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 Who styling who? That was my mom. That was my mom. The first man that prayed on my show, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all hold this. Y'all hold this is delivered. Yes, that's it. I'm delivered. You I said it this morning. <laughs> She texted me that this morning. She said, I'm trying to play my series away. Thank my, you. My home is away. So thank you. Pray their home is away. And thank you for coming and just setting that tone in my radio station, my place, the Who Style and Who Show. Thank you for giving me hope. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. Us. Yes, Who Style and Who Mondays are the new Fridays. Thank you, Joe Exclusive. Ooh. Enjoy your fashion week. See you guys soon. Yes, thank you for having us to all. No, thank you for coming.